Hi, I'm Dr. Jana Husky, one of the transplant nephrologists at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Kidney transplantation is a treatment option for individuals with advanced chronic kidney disease. Over the next few minutes, you'll learn more about the kidney transplant process and what to expect when you come for your kidney transplant evaluation. I'm Linda. I'm one of the transplant nurse coordinators here at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Our goal is to get you listed onto UNOS, United Network Organ Sharing. In order to start that process, we need a referral. We need a referral either from your physician, your nephrologist, your dialysis unit, or even yourself. Once we get the referral, we will obtain financial authorization for you to come here to Mayo Clinic. During your process of the kidney transplant evaluation, you will have a nurse every step of the way, pre-listed and post-transplant. Kidney transplantation really is a team effort. We have physicians, nurses, social workers, nutritionists, and a variety of other providers all working for the same common goal to make your kidney transplant a success. Hello, my name is Lynn Vitagliano and I'm a social worker at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. One of the team members that you'll meet with during your initial evaluation for a kidney transplant is a social worker. We hope to get to know you on a personal level and we'll talk to you about the social aspect of a transplant. Things like who will help take care of you, where will you stay, and how will you afford your medications. Your transplant nephrologist will take a medical history do a physical exam, and review with you the necessary tests that we were required for you to complete in order to be considered a transplant candidate. You will undergo a very comprehensive medical and psychosocial evaluation that will be based on your certain medical conditions. This testing will help us maximize your chance of having a, a successful kidney transplant. During this visit, your transplant nephrologist will also re review with you both the short and long-term risks and benefits of kidney transplant. After you have completed your testing, your results will be reviewed by the transplant team at our weekly transplant selection committee meeting to determine your candidacy as a kidney transplant recipient. If you are approved for transplant, you will be placed on the kidney transplant wait list. There are two ways to get a kidney transplant. Either wait on the list for a deceased donor or have a living donor. Your nephrologist and transplant surgeon will review these options with you in more detail during your transplant evaluation. Hi, my name is Winston Hewitt. I'm a liver, kidney, and pancreas transplant surgeon here at the Mayo Clinic, Arizona. A kidney transplant procedure is a life-changing event. It's a big surgical operation, and it will result in ultimately you getting off dialysis. That's significant, and the impact on not only the quality of your life in terms of freeing up you, the recipient, for um, doing other things other than going to and from dialysis three times a week, but the quantity of life is also improved. The long-term outcome after kidney transplant is superior than if you were to remain on dialysis. The process of performing a kidney transplantation procedure not only reverses the kidney failure, but re reverses the impact, the negative impact that kidney failure has on other organs, most significantly the heart. Kidney transplantation involves a surgical procedure whereby the kidney is placed into usually what's called your iliac fossa, which is the area in your lower abdomen where the big blood vessels that go to and from your legs are where the kidney, kidney, the new kidney is attached to. The kidney has an artery and a vein, typically one of each, but sometimes more, and it has a ureter which drains the urine from the kidney into your bladder. All of these need to be reconnected um, during the transplant operation. The, there are risks associated with uh, doing such a procedure, including developing blood clots in those areas, or sometimes the bleeding, and the connection of the ureter to the bladder sometimes can leak or develop a narrowing, which may require a reoperation. We do things to minimize these risks, but they can never be completely eliminated. In the vast majority of patients, however, these risks are more than acceptable and definitely when you talk about the risk benefit of adopting or accepting these risks versus the uh, risks of remaining on dialysis, it definitely favors the transplant procedure. As an outpatient, you are expected to stay in the area after kidney transplant, at least for the first month. We will meet with you to talk about local lodging options, and we'll tell you more about the transplant house we have located on our Phoenix campus for our out-of-state and out-of-town patients. 
After transplant, it's very important that you take your medications as directed by your doctor. When we meet with you, we'll help you to understand your prescription coverage and we'll help to identify financial assistance programs if needed. Following your surgery, you will need to have somebody that can stay with you 24 hours a day for the first four to six weeks to help as your caregiver. They will be responsible for helping you remember to take your medication and for driving you to and from all of your follow-up appointments. When we meet with you, we'll talk about who in your life might be able to assist with this and we'll help in talking to them and preparing them for what will be expected. Caregivers do not need to have medical training and we'll have a one-on-one -on -one session with a nurse before you leave the hospital. We encourage you to bring your close friends and family, those individuals who will be your support system during the transplant process, to your evaluation if at all possible. This provides them not only an opportunity to meet the team that you'll be working with during your transplant process, but it also allows them to learn more about donor options that are available to you, learn more about what you're going to go through as a transplant patient, and it provides them the opportunity to answer any questions that they may have about the transplant process.